Hey guys, thank you for joining me for my first YouTube video. Today I'm going to be talking about my Hobonichi Techo in the A6 size. This year is my first year using the Hobonichi A6 planner. I've always wanted one and always admired how people use theirs. There's so many different ways you can use it with the flexibility of the layout. The way I've been using it is as a memory keeper. And unfortunately, I can't really do plan with me's unless I'm just setting up the spread because I include really personal information in here. But how I use it is I use this timed section for highlights. So like just important information that happened during the day, like significant events. And then on this section, I just do a very small journal entry about the day, like how I felt or any emotions. And then I also like to keep track of like what I'm watching or reading or restaurants I go to, things like that. In this version, this is the spring edition because I got it in April. It's also called the original. It has a like to-do list up here and it's numbered all the way down. It's in Japanese. And I don't mind that because as you can see here, I just put the days of the week when I'm decorating it. But for 2024, when I saw they had this version, I'll show you the differences. Kind of shows you here on the back, but let's open it up so you can see. One of the main differences is that it's black, it's very simplified, um, it's not that cream color, it's a different texture as well. I have a cover on mine, but in this edition it's very smooth. In this edition, it's kind of like a textured layout. Layout. It's a textured feeling. And this one happens to be in English. So, as you can see, the days of the week are now in English. Whereas in here, it was in Japanese. Um, I think I actually covered this calendar page because I wasn't using it, but this tracker page is now in English. In the Japanese version, they had the English months and the numerical ones, but here they didn't have the English ones. So that makes it easier for tracking or however you want to use these pages. Some people use it as an index or a one line per page. And then the calendar let me go to, this one starts in December. The new year, the January starts in December. So, and they just don't have, I guess it's a little bit thinner too because it doesn't have the Japanese version. 
It looks more simplified too. It's more of a minimal look. And then on the daily pages, wow, it looks really a lot different. Let me go to a blank page here. Let's go to January 1st. So here we still have the cover page, but in my old one they had a quote at the bottom. Here they don't have that. And this is in English. So that looks a lot more minimal. And I don't know if you can see, but in this 2024 version, there's a very faint line. So if you wanted to write something, you have the lines, which I like. What I do on these pages is um, I just put my Simply Gilded calendar and a little bit of deco. So I like that there's lines here so it can guide me on where to put it. And it's still, it doesn't have a line to, to divide the days, which I'm kind of upset about because I really liked um, having the distinction between my day and my journal entry, but I could easily just create that myself. The day is now numbered off with just a 12. I didn't really use these numbers before, so this just kind of provides me a guide. So with that, these are a lot more structured, or less structured than this one. The quotes are now in English. And so I'm gonna, I'll be curious to see how I like this one compared to this one. I've never, the only thing that really bothered me about this one is the boxes up here and this one doesn't have the boxes. I mean, they still take up a lot of space up here, which isn't great, but at least I don't have to worry about the boxes. For some reason, those check boxes kind of felt like I needed to use them functionally, and so not having those there feels a lot better. But other than that, nothing else about this really bothered me. The Japanese didn't really bother me. I did have to go in and put dates in so I knew where I was in the month. But yeah, so I'll be using this in January if I don't like it. I can always get another spring edition in April. The covers I got for it, uh, one from Hobonichi, and then I bought one from Happy Scrappy. And I haven't decided which one I want to use. This one, is a lot better quality in my opinion. Let me take it out of the cover. It feels really nice and it feels like it fits the planner a lot better. And let me show you. So this is my my B6 disc bound planner and this is my common planner. And I just think 
this looks really cute together. It kind of pulls out the greens and the pinks. And so I'm most likely gonna go with this one. But this happy scrappy one is so cute too. Like they're both just so chic. You can tell that this one kinda, I don't know, it just looks wintry to me. This one kind of looks more spring. This one kind of reminds me of like a winter coat, like a chic winter coat. I got clear covers to go over both of them. This one's the Happy Scrappy. Um, Hobonichi has their own cover on cover to protect the cover. And so I'm eventually gonna do like a whole setup. And by setup, I mean I'm gonna put this in the cover and then probably use some sort of stickers to set up the mutts. So I'll be back in a, at some point to set that up with you guys but let me know what cover you like and if you um which version of the Hobonichi you liked better and if you would like to see some setups of my daily pages in the Hobonichi thanks for watching bye